Um, our blessing boxes. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the blessing boxes in each of our projects. Um, and then we'll go into some music. Um, I think for five minutes, right, Kristen? Um, we have, um, we'll have some about four and a half minutes. Okay, about four and a half minutes of recorded music. So people that are gathered in groups come up and, and lay their donations in one central spot as it will. Um, there might be a little bit of time for a couple of you to go on and do your donations then. I'm going to say you might want to wait until afterwards if you haven't already, because if everybody tries to get on there one time during that four and a half minutes and try and make their donations, the system's going to crash <laughs> and might be a little difficult. So, um, and then after the music stops, we'll come back and I will close that out with a prayer. So, um, just wanted to talk briefly about blessing boxes. 20% of our blessing box funds go to support the mission and the work of our region. This provides partial support to um, disciples women in our region by helping offset the cost of salary for um, our disciples women coordinator, who's Christian, um, helps with copies and, and that sort of thing. 50% um, of that blessing box money goes to the direct support of Disciples Women's Ministries. Um, and this is used for leadership trainings, Just Women, support of new church starts in developing Disciples Women's Ministries, um, and many other um, opportunities and trainings for women in in the church as a whole. And then 22% um, goes to support the whole mission of the whole church. Um, we're gonna talk about our service projects. Our international service project this year is Onsplec. And this is a facility that's made for, that's for female street children in Cape Town, South Africa. It provides the basic needs of food, clothing, shelter, education, um, emotional support. Uh, support. Um, and also in trying to keep those girls' families involved in their lives and supporting them. Um, each year they serve between 100 and 150 girl, oh, I'm sorry, each year between 100 and 150 girls leave their homes to fend for themselves and Onsplec provides and takes in about 95% of those girls. Um, so they, it's really a, a very broad uh, offering of shelter and, and everything required in life for those girls. Um, our regional and our uh -huh. project this year is also the Mississippi State Project, and that's the Southern Christian Services for Children and Youth. Um, they do this every year as part of their um, state project. They serve, um, Southern Youth Services serves um, and equips vulnerable children and youth from throughout the whole state of Mississippi. Um, the Arkansas Project is the Arkansas Food Bank. They assisted over 280,000 people in 33 counties across central and southern Arkansas. 33% of those children, of those people, those numbers are children under the age of 18. And 11% are seniors over the age of 60. The Louisiana State Project this year is Southwest, South, whew, Southeast Ministries Associations, Inc. in Baton Rouge. They provide food and other basic necessities um, such as toiletries and cleaning supplies to those in need. 
that is currently supported by 15 churches from eight different denominations um, that are working through Southeast Ministries to serve the needy. They serve people from seven and a half different zip codes um, covering the Southeast portion of East Baton Rouge Parish. Um, these are all ways that we can help financially. Um, normally when we meet in person, we have um, a list of supplies that people can donate and somebody from that area takes it back. We don't have anybody this year, but if, if you are in the Baton Rouge area or in the area where the, um, I, I'm not sure, exactly where they're located, but in Mississippi, where the Christian service, Southern Christian services are. Um, both of those websites have lists of supplies. So if you're in the area and would like to look that up online and take donations there physically, um, those are also always welcome. So at this time, we're gonna take a few moments to um, for those gathered in groups to bring their offerings forward and listen to some music. Please have the music because I don't want to sing. Uh, dropped out.
Is it back to me or did you have another song? It's back to you. Okay. Um, our most gracious and giving God, we ask for your blessings on these offerings and that you help guide those at the helm of each organization, each of these organizations to use these funds as you best see to help those in, in need. We ask for your blessing on each of the individuals who are helped, as well as those offering help. We thank you for the blessings in our own lives that enable us to help others and to allow us to be good workers in your name. In your son, name and love we offer this prayer amen we'll move into our time of communion thank you if you've not gathered your elements whatever you'll use for bread or for cup, get, get them and gather them together, please, so that we can come to the table together. <laughs> Several months before the coronavirus outbreak, social distancing and civil unrest, the theme for this year's retreat was selected unanimously. God in his perfect time provided us a way to heal from the pain of social isolation, the pain of economic hardship, polarized politics, and social injustice. It's the theme of this year's retreat. Invite your neighbor to sit by you at the Lord's Supper. God in his perfect timing. Let's bow our heads and go to him in prayer. Heavenly Father, you equip us just with your simple words of inviting others to the table. You give us an opportunity for reconciliation. You give us an opportunity for healing because through the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ, every seat of the table is at your right hand. Lord, not one of us above the other. We are made unified and whole through your love and sacrifice. Thank you, Father, and please equip us as disciple women 
to step out to our neighbor and invite them to the table. Oh, Lord, we are so grateful and humbled to be yours. Bless this cup that is at all of our homes. Bless the bread, whatever it may be, and know that we take it all together in our mutual love for you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Christ, on the night that he was betrayed, took the bread, broke it, and blessed it. And he gave it to his disciples and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, at the end of the meal, he took the cup and he said, this is the new covenant in my blood. As often as you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat of the bread and drink of the cup, we proclaim his death until he comes again. <laughs> Um, Deborah, if you will email me here at the church and give me your contact information, I can let you know things we've got going on and maybe we can get together on some of that. Okay? Okay, shall we pray? We thank you, God, for our sisters across the Great River region, for our time together and with you today for giving us strength during times of anxiety for your healing miracles for your power among your people for your redemption of us for your leadership for your creation for your limitless love and most especially father for your son amen <laughs>